welcome to Joey Fo. This is episode eight with me, Joey. And today we're gonna to do a little bit of a Lucius unboxing slash fluff and advice as to how to play. Um, I've done a bit of reading up over the weekend of Lucius and some stats and how well he is compared to others. It's not necessarily a beginner crew to go for. Um, a lot of people have said that it's quite tricky to use and it's not as powerful as others but it's definitely not one to be pushed aside so I'll talk you through some fluff before we get into the unboxing of the actual models and uh, see what we think of it. So in my first video I talk about some fluff to do with the guild and the guild is run by the governor and Lucius is his secretary and uh, he runs the elite division guys who um, basically do whatever he wants but by doing whatever he wants it's really doing whatever the governor wants. Um, his crew is meant to be fairly average. They work well together, but not really powerful singularly. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how good he really is. So having a look at what comes in the Lucius Elite Division starter set, we've got Lucius, the governor's secretary, uh, the lawyers, the lawyer secretary aide, guild captain, guild guard, and Ryle, Guild Pawn. So, Pawn, that'd be cheeky. Um, Lucius, as I was looking at his card, has actually got a pretty decent walk. Walk of five, charge of seven, whereas anything in my crew has a maximum of four. Walk of four, charge of six, which is all right, but the, considering the rest of these guys has average Walk of three, walk of three, four, and four. Um, where I was reading earlier on, it kind of said that they're best off sticking together as a, you know, a group force rather than singularly. But what Lucius can do is do reinforcements and place a friendly model in its controller's deployment zone within four inches of this model. And that doesn't need line of sight, so you can get Ryle um, and bring him straight to him, which is really helpful for moving stuff across the board and still keeping models fairly close by, so kind of kind of awesome. His CB here on the card is six, which is pretty, pretty cool. And uh, with that, one of his triggers is after successfully stri um, striking defender, the defender may not target this model with any attacks. This is awesome. But I think this is kind of in a, as a defense mechanism because you shouldn't really, or as I've been reading, He's not great to be attack, uh, you know, attacking anybody. He should be, you know, getting his minions to do his dirty work. So this is a this trigger is for a worst case scenario that he's actually finding himself in combat. So, you know, hopefully you get the trigger and you can't nothing else can touch him. Uh, looking at his spells here, which um, he's got hidden sniper, which is the only one that causes any damage. One low, two for moderate, four for severe. Um, but to get the severe, you need a high RAM card, so risky. Um, but it says this spell may target a model in line of sight of any friendly elite division, but must be in range of this model. Then you've got issue command, which doesn't do any damage. It just means that you get to, you know, control your minions. Target friendly elite division or guardsman model immediately makes a melee or range strike or takes the walk action. So, you know, if you want to get into combat in your in Lucius's actions you can you know do issue command go over here yes master so that's pretty good I guess it keeps the heat off of him which is the idea he's got two zero actions um, the first of which is advanced training um, it's a pulse of eight friendly elite divisional guardsmen gain plus two CB until the end of the models of this model activation that is awesome um, with my Rasputina guys, I've got a pulse, but for a defense. So this is kind of nasty. Um, I like it. Then you've got ruthless leadership as well. Sacrifice a friendly elite divisional guardsman model within two. This model receives reactivate. Sounds scary. Uh, this action may be taken once per turn. Um, to sacrifice anything seems a bit of a, you know, all is lost kind of a move. Um, so yeah, advanced training though, really good. His defense, he's got uh, under his abilities, 
Highest authority. Strikes or casts um, targeting this model receive minus to attack and casting flips. So negative flips regardless of what's going on, which is pretty good. Um, his defense is four, so not that great. Again, a lot of what I've read from this and looked up over the past couple of days just mainly suggests that he should be kept mostly out of combat and in the event that he is to um, pretty much try and get, you know, to get the trigger off so no one else can, can attack him again. So for Soul Stones, he comes with Slow to Die and he's um, a henchman four, so, and it's best to use as many as you can if you can spare them, so, so I've heard and uh, it's best to use them to really heal to keep him alive so I can see how that might be the case. Uh, the best tip that I've read for, for Lucius is to use reinforcements in the first turn on preferably someone like Ryle um, if he's leading the crew to get him as far about 14 inches away from the enemy so you can start shooting in your first turn before they even activate. Um, don't leave him unsupported in case of counter-attacks but uh, that seems to be a pretty decent plan, especially if he's not joining a crew and he's just leading one, which I imagine, Ruben, will be the case for you for now. Um, so that's what I've found out. There's a link down below if you want to get a more in-depth uh, idea of what Lucius can do. And um, yeah, let's go into the unboxing. Okay, here we've got the guild, Lucius Malifaux. Looking awesome with his mask and his coat on. That is going to be fun, yet scary to paint. Um, nice idea of how they're all meant to look. And then we have here, Elite Division. Most know Lucius Matheson as the Governor's General, unassuming secretary, but his true role in the Guild is far more influential. He commands the elite division and maintains ultimate control over all guardsmen. His power-driven acts go beyond the nefarious plans of the Governor, Governor General, enforcing his will on Malifaux and its citizens. People between Lucius and his ambitions tend to disappear. Permanently. Wow. Wow, that is scary. We've got our lovely weird stuff here. And inside... Okay, so we have the cards. Definitely didn't just open these already. We've got Ryle, this lovely gentleman, all Ram, Guild Guard, Guild Guard Captain, Lawyer, Secretary's Aide, with this guy, and Lucius. What badass. Okay, and inside here, we've got our lovely bits and bobs. We'll line them all up. First things first, we'll go over here to Lucius himself. So we've got a standard base. I'm gonna change them up and make them all fancy, fancy bases. And we've got uh, Lucius legs. Hmm? Oh yeah. Got legs here. That was my elbow. And then we've got the body and the tail coat. His mask looks amazing. And his hair. I do love a good a good coat. Look at that lovely detail. And then, where was that bag gone? In there, so we'll put this over here. Then we've got Guild Guard. Awesome looking. Again, I love, I love the boots and stuff. And the gun. Look at the gun. Lovely stuff here. And we've got a sword and a hand. 
kind of kind of bent. I want to make it like this so it's doubly long. And then the bases. And then we have the lawyer cowering away. Stand a base. And then we've got this. He's got like half a mask on his face. Lovely stuff. And little buckles on his boots. And a kerchief. Is that a kerchief? Definitely is, look. Not a lot of cleanup work needed on these, really. It's looking really nice. Looks like he's got some terrible cramps. Terrible. Poor guy. Look at that. Oh, oh that was bad chicken. Next up we have... Oh, this guy's massive. I'm guessing it's Ryle. Look at this. Some guns and everything in there. Much bigger base. Much bigger. Look, these are the previous ones. Get a nice one for that. First, oh, I've got to go for the... Look at that metal hand. You see? There we go. Oh, so cool. Awesome gun. Lovely stuff. And then his huge body. It was a really big model. Got all like wires in his leg. It does. Oh, cool. His back. Really nervous about painting up this back bit on the head. You can see all the little wires and uh, circular things, and his huge, enormous mouth. Massive mouth. Okay, and I think lastly, we have what I can only imagine would be the guild guard captain. Let's see. Oh, got an axe. Every time I say axe, I, all I can hear is Gimli. And my axe. Nice looking though. And then we've got massive beer gut. Tiny head, considering such a huge, huge belly and a cool gun. Why a gun and an axe? He means business. And a little pocket on his coat. Look at that. That is awesome. Two pockets. I stand corrected. And there we go. There are our guys. I'm going to be painting up very carefully with love and really trying not to mess it up. Woohoo! I know. We're very close to each other right now. Um. So that was Lucius, some unboxing and some information if you're interested in playing uh, with him as a henchman and the leader of the crew. Um, information to fluff advice uh, with a link down below, which was really helpful to me. Um, and on the 3rd of September, I am doing a battle for charity. Um, I was contacted a couple of weeks ago by the Dark Templar, who were doing a blog project called A Tale of Three Painters, and they're painting up uh, the Hoffman starter set in their own styles and gonna auction it off. But before they do that, I'm going to film and have a battle with them at the lair on the third, and uh, yes, get involved. Links to that will be down below, but that will be uh, really fun to do and good cause, so I'm happy to be involved with it. Um, hoping to do an interview with them as well for some more information and maybe add that for next week if I can um, before I head off to the ETC. Um, so question, I'm going to paint one guy before I've got a load of load of work to do because I've got two tournaments, lots of battles and Poland. So I'm going to paint up one of them um, ready for next Monday's Malafoe Monday and 
I want to know which one you want to see first. So, do I jump in on the deep end and start with Lucius? Or do I go for the big fat guy? With the small head? Do I go for the constipated lawyer? The hat guard? Or uh, Reva, the mechanical man? Poll on Facebook. Choose which one you want. Um, as soon as possible, because I'm going to try and paint some up tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow on Wednesday. So by tomorrow I'm going to pick which one is the most popular and going to start painting it. This is for Ruben, who I'm going to send this back to, to Texas. So uh, they're going to be painted with love and care. Um, so let me know. Thoughts down below and links in the description bar to everything that I've mentioned. Uh, like if you like this, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next week with some painting. Bye!